How we doing today, YouTube? Today, we are making Jamaican Jerk Smoked Oxtails on the Gateway Drum Smoker. Let's go. All right, folks, so you saw that intro. We are about to fire up that awesome Gateway Drum Smoker. Haven't used that baby for at least a year, okay? I'm really excited to get that flavor that the drums put on these awesome oxtails. So here's what we have for today. We have the It's Incredible for our base coat. We'll use olive oil as a binder, and we're gonna go heavy with the Jamaican Me Hungry rub from Heaven Made Products, okay? This rub is gonna infuse that awesome Caribbean style flavor into these oxtails. And what we have to be exact is around eight pounds of beautiful oxtails. So I'm gonna get these open, get them cleaned, and then we'll get into the seasoning process. I wanna thank you as always for joining me, and let's get cooking. All right, folks, so we're back. We're gonna go ahead and start the seasoning process. I've already cleaned these oxtails. We have some nice size ones. We have some medium sized ones, as you can see as well. And then these more large pieces here. This is gonna be phenomenal here, right? And then we have the smaller ones. So we definitely have to adjust as we're cooking those, pull those off uh, faster than we would the uh, thicker pieces to make sure we don't overcook them. All right, so I'm just coming with olive oil. And the plan is to just move this around and just try to get these things coated the best we can. We're going to come with the It's Incredible first. And all I want to do is just kind of get these spices going throughout. I'm not trying to spend a lot of time here. We're just going to hit the top really good. And then we're just going to mix and move stuff around. Okay. Same thing with our Jamaican Me Hungry. Coming back with that, and we're just going right on top. All right, and then we're gonna come back with more seasoning here. And that's it, folks. I'm just gonna keep turning them around till everything seems to be evenly coated. And then I'll meet you outside and we will check out that grill setup. All right, folks, so we're out at the Gateway Drum Smoker. I am all kind of excited to get this baby fired up. We have two wax starter cubes. Inside of the Gateway Drum Smoker is a large basket for holding your lump charcoal or your regular Kingsford style charcoal. I will bring you in close once we get this lit and let you see how that looks if you haven't seen it before. But it's been over a year since firing up this baby. One thing I can say about these drums, they make some of the most flavorful food you're ever gonna to wanna to taste, okay? I really mean that. Ribs, phenomenal, just excellent flavor. I can't believe how good they come out, but it has so much to do with the juices dripping down, hitting those coals, and shooting bursts of flavor back through your meat. That's what this drum offers, something that's just really, really unique to barbecue. So let's go ahead and get it fired up. Two of them, I'll bring you in in just a second. And I'm just gonna get them fired up. All right. Okay, let me bring you in close and show you that and then we can kind of let this thing ash over and then we'll get ready for the next step. So here's what we're talking about here. Our two wax starter cubes are fired up. That's going to ash over, give us a nice, nice bed of uh, ashed over coals. So what we can do now is go ahead and put in one of our grill grates. We're gonna use two of them today. This first one will be more of an ash pan. Okay, so that one will just seat on the bottom layer. This one here will seat on top here. Okay, so that is our grill setup. What I'll do when it's time to start cooking, when this thing ashes over, I'll just remove this one grate here, put our water pan down up under the bottom here on the second rack right here, and then we'll add our oxtails. So we'll get back together, let this baby ash over. I'm gonna go ahead now and open up our damper right here to make sure we're getting some airflow. 
All right, and that's all we need. Look at the look at the gateway, y'all. This thing still looks really good. It has seen some some rust on the handle. Check this out. I'll show you what I mean. So we got some rust and stuff working here on the handle. Even though I keep it covered, it's just you know just a part of it. So I may do a um, redo as far as stripping it down and repainting it. I mean, not one of my projects right now, but ultimately you can see that it still looks really good. This drum is in good shape. All right, okay, so we'll get back together once we ash over and then it'll be time to add our oxtails. Okay, folks, so we're going in with post oak chunks. We wanna make sure to get the uh, smoke flavor added. We're ashed over now. I'll show you how it looks in just a second. And I just want to add about four or five chunks to the uh, basket. We'll put them really close to the fire source just to make sure that they get ignited and we get that smoke rolling through those oxtails. We'll come on with our water pan. All right. And our top grill grain. So this is our grill setup, folks. We'll go ahead and get this thing shut down. So that's where we're at. Okay, we'll let it roll for a little bit. Once our temperature gets up to close to 250, we'll go ahead and add our oxtail. I'll see you guys in just a second. This cook is going to be amazing. I'm excited about it. And uh, we will just kind of follow it through step by step. Okay, folks, so we have our grill up to 170 degrees. We want to be smoking at around 225 to 250. I'm going to go ahead now and get these oxtails added. I put the side tray on, uh, which definitely helps you as far as ha having somewhere to put all your meats and different spices. So I slid that in place. And all I'm going to do is just get our oxtails added right above the drip tray the best we can. Some of it will be on the outskirts, but that's fine. It's not going to hurt one bit. I just want to promote moisture. I want to make sure that um, these babies are getting cooked right. Nice smoke on them. So that's what we have going on here. And our last one's here, right in the center. Okay, so we have everything added. Um, hopefully you can see that. I'll bring you in a little bit closer if you can't. But what we're going to do now is get this baby shut down. One thing about the Gateway Drum Smoker is that it does get hot really quick. If you leave that open too long, you can get your temperatures up way past what you're shooting for. I'm okay now. That's why I opened it up before I got to the 225 to make sure I don't get it too angry. So now I can just put the lid on, let that baby regulate, come up to that 225 to 250, and then we're going to have a beautiful, beautiful final result. I'll see you guys in a couple hours, but I'll bring you up close and let you just see what we're talking about. So here's what we have going on. There's our beautiful oxtails hanging out, ready to show out. I'll catch you guys in just a bit. All right, folks, we're about an hour and a half in. Let's see how this awesome oxtail cook is coming along let's see where we're at temperature wise let's check it out we are smoking right at 250 i might go ahead and bring down that intake to make sure we stay there and don't get much hotter so let's do that together first you see we don't have that much air going in but let's just bring it on down a little bit more don't need much okay our exhaust is still wide open let's check these babies out this will be the first time to see how these oxtails are coming along Let's see what we got. I'm gonna back this up a little. Man, look y'all. Look folks. Look at that beautiful mahogany color. These drum smokers is where it's at, all right? I'll back it up, let some of the smoke clear so you can see. Gotta close it down quick though, cause it does get hot, like I said. But you see, we have a beautiful color coming along. These things are gonna be amazing. We got at least another hour and a half. I wanna smoke at least for three hours before we go to the next step. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, folks, so we are three hours in. Riley wants me to throw the ball with him. You can see him sitting there waiting on me. I'm not going right now. We're going to go ahead, folks. Let's check out first our temp, see where we're at. You can see we're sitting right around 240 degrees. This baby is dialed in and cooking right, okay? We have beautiful, clear blue smoke coming out of the exhaust. I'm telling you, these things are right, all right? Now, three hours in, it is time to bring them in now and go ahead and start... Um, I'm gonna do another layer of seasoning. So we'll season one more time. Then we're just gonna coat these things in a Jamaican jerk sauce, put them in the pan, okay? And back on the Gateway Drum Smoker we go, okay? Let's open it up and see how it's coming along. You can see the beautiful color. I'm telling you folks, these things are amazing. Let me back up, kind of let some of this kind of get out of the way. There you go, check it out. Look at that beautiful color. 
that's what we're after. That's what we want, okay? I'll meet you guys at the cutting board and we will do the next step, but we're pretty much done. That's why this oxtail cook is so easy. We put the small pieces over the, um, the tray to make sure they didn't get burnt. Our largest pieces we kept on the outside. Doesn't it look good though? Look at that. See, that's done right. I'm telling you folks, this is what it's all about. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm gonna take the pieces off, meet you at the cutting board. We're gonna add the sauce, put the lid on, and let these babies just come up to where they just fall off the bone. I'll meet you guys inside. All right, so here they are, sitting on the cutting board. Looking really good, beautiful mahogany color. Look at these things. Yeah, they look wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on a tripod to show you the next step. Here is the uh, seasoning we're gonna use. It is Star Point Foods Jamaican Jerk Sauce. All I'm gonna do with this is pour it right inside and use it as a way of, of braising uh, and softening these things down. So that's what the point is, okay? I'll see you guys in just a second uh, when it's time to do the next step. We also have onion we're gonna add as well, so we'll get that added also. All right, folks, so you saw the oxtails. This process won't take long. I've diced up a whole onion, and all I wanna do is add the onion kind of sporadically throughout. We're gonna kind of infuse this thing with good flavors like we always do on the channel. It's all about flavor. And just break down this onion throughout the uh, pan, okay? Now, in previous cooks, I've used peppers and onions and different things like that. We're just doing onion today. We're gonna to come back with more seasoning, so let's do that. Wanna hit it with another coat of the Jamaican Me Hungry to keep on infusing that jerk flavor. All right, good enough. Okay, now we're coming back with our jerk sauce. And again, we'll use this as a braising liquid as well. And we're just going right on. Okay, I wanna coat these babies well. Hopefully you can see that. Once I put the lid on here, you know for a fact that it's gonna start steaming and breaking down. And that's what we're going after. Okay. We'll use this sauce, once the um, oxtails break down, we'll use this sauce to go on top of our rice and different things like that to just make this such a succulent meal. All right, good enough. So here's what we have. We have beautiful oxtails that are soaking in a jerk sauce. They've already been smoked. Now these things are going back to the Gateway Drum Smoker where they'll stay for at least another two, maybe two and a half hours or until they're fork tender. I'll see you guys back at the cutting board to check out the final product of these beautiful smoked oxtails made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. YouTube, we are back and I am so excited to show you the final product of our smoked jerked oxtails made on the Gateway Drum Smoker. So folks, let's talk about what we did before we unveil this goodness. All we did was add olive oil as a binder, then we went heavy with the It's Incredible and the Jamaican Me Hungry by Heaven Made Products. Both of these were just a perfect spice for these jerk oxtails. We put those babies on the Gateway Drum Smoker. We used post oak, okay, to infuse those babies for the first two and a half to three hours. You saw that beautiful mahogany color. From there, we brought them in. We put them back in this foil tray, folks. And what did we do? We seasoned them a little bit more. We added onion, and then we hit them with jerk sauce, okay? That's all we did. We put the lid on, back to the Gateway Drum Smoker. We went for another three and a half hours total cook time of around six to six and a half hours and what we have here is special so let's check it out now they've been sitting on the cutting board for around 15 minutes because i didn't want to do another one of those taste tests where i can barely taste the food because it's so hot i still think they're extremely hot but just check out what we have folks look at these beautiful oxtails basted in all of this jerk sauce all right they are tender i'm gonna get one up and just let you see what i mean real quick let me grab one these things are gonna be amazing, okay? Just amazing. We'll get one really quick. Check this out. Look at that beautiful, rich color. The sauce is gonna be amazing. There's enough sauce to drizzle on top of rice. I'm telling you, this is gonna be an awesome jerk oxtail treat. Let's just take a little bit of bite if it can close this video out. Ah, they're just breaking loose like butter. Here we go. Mm. They are still extremely hot. Okay, you taste awesome jerk flavor through and through. 
you have tender, succulent meat when you're talking about oxtails. Some of the best meat out there. So many people have never tried it. You gotta give this a try. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let everyone know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for hanging in there with me and thanks for helping me bring that gateway drum smoker back to life. I'll catch you guys later.